me and within us today. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Saints of God, lift your hands this morning and wave. Hallelujah. To the mightiest God this morning. Hallelujah. Give him the praise that is due unto him this morning. With holy hands this morning, glory to God. Praise the Lord Jesus. We thank the Lord for this day. Hallelujah. The day that he has made. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are just asking him. Glory to God to touch our hands this morning. Touch our hands this morning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For we must come with a reason to praise our God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. First, I must greet the Spirit of God this morning. Who oh, is the midst of our lives this morning? Glory to God. He woke us up this morning. He did not have to do it, but he did it this morning. Glory to God. So I greet him, I exalt him, I give him all the praise and the glory that is due unto his name this morning. Glory to God. Life belongs to him this morning. And so today we are here to lift up our God. Hallelujah. I must greet my bishop, glory to God, C.A. Holdsworth. Oh, glory to God, I've not yet seen, glory to God, but I greet him in his absence this morning, glory to God, hallelujah. Greet Pastor Roden this morning, glory to God, the ministers of the gospel, glory to God, the ushers, glory to God, missionary Beckford, glory to God who is there, glory to God, leading the usher board this morning. Glory to God, Evangelist Fisher. Glory to God, I bless you. Glory to God, for the Lord is your helper. Glory to God, I pray this morning. Glory to God for the choir. The choir this morning, I pray that the blessing of the Lord will be upon you this morning. I pray, glory to God, for the musicians. Glory to God, hallelujah. Glory to God from day to day, from week to week. Amen. Glory to God. Bless them, God, in their doings this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They are dear, mighty God, to do your work this morning. I bless, glory to God, the technical team this morning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For the church to move on, we have to have all of you together. Glory to God to give God a collective Praise. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Join with me this morning. Glory to God as we praise our God. Join with me this morning as we lift up the God of our salvation. Join with me this morning. Glory to God and say, Awake, oh my soul. Awake. Glory to God. To our glory. Jesus. Praise him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. 
Glory to God. So, glory to God. Our theme for today, ladies, Sunday. Hallelujah. Is the glorious hope in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And today, our song for this morning is at Calvary. Praise the Lord. Years I spent in vanity and pride.
thank you this morning. Hallelujah. There my burdened soul find liberty at Calvary. Calvary's cross. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's a special place for us this morning where we can find liberty to go to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The throne Praise of God. Grace. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty God. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. This morning, I will call upon Evangelist Fisher to pray for us this morning. Praise God. Glory to the God. See, there was grace and grace was free. Oh, pardon, pardon, and there was not in light to me. Mercy. Glory to God. Mercy there was grace. Mighty God. And it was free. Mighty this God. morning, all we have to do is serve him. Can we bow our heads in prayer? Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship and adore you. Indeed, it is a privilege to enter into your courts with praise. We will be glad and rejoice. We are so glad this morning Hallelujah. for life. This morning, we praise your name. We are not here because we could be here, oh God. but we are here because of your mercy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yay, yeah. hey God. And as we come this morning, I pray for an awakening. Oh God. I pray for a touch. I pray for a revival in our spirit. That as we send up the praises, hallelujah, it's not about us, but the glory and the honor belong it unto you. Sanctify every one of us in the house this morning. Purge us. Wash us. Hey, hallelujah. As we come in your presence, we say to you, Lord, use us. Use us for your glory. Use us that others will see the light of God. Touch our service today. It is already in your hand. We pray for direction. Whatever shall be said, whatever will be done, it is all through you. Oh God, we give you the honor when we think, uh, God, of the many things that have been happening around. We say glory to your name. We say glory to your name. We say glory to your name. As we enter, Lord, do not let anyone have to pump us to praise you. God, sometimes we have to be pumping and pumping. But God, we come with our sacrifice this morning. Hear us, we pray. Move in the house, in, oh God, in a way that we have never seen before. God, we are praying, God, that we will see the mighty, powerful, mighty God. She no boots. Yeah, hallelujah. God, sit upon us today. Let somebody walk in and go out not the same way. Let your presence be here. Oh, God, we want to feel the Shekinah glory. Some of us, oh God, have not felt the Holy Ghost for a long time. Hallelujah. Yay. Mercy, Lord. Revive us again. Revive us again. Revive us again, hallelujah. Revive us again. Oh, revive us again. Hey, God, move self. Let self be crucified. Let self be slain. Shilo mo talamu. Ye kondo silo. And the Holy Ghost take over. Bless the service, Lord. Bless the choir. Bless the med moderator. Bless the preacher. Let the words be anointed. Let your power be felt. And the glory and the honor belong it unto you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Fisher. Glory to God. Thank you. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. We'll now call on Thank you, Jesus. Sister Dion for the reading of the scripture and it is taken
taken from 1 Corinthians 15, from 1 to 22. 1 Corinthians 15, from 1 to 22. Praise the Lord. We need to chapter 15 reading from verse 1 to 22 and we will alternate the reading moreover brethren i declare unto you the gospel which i preach unto you which also ye have received and wherein ye stand by which also ye are saved if ye keep in memory what i preach unto you unless ye have believed in vain for I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve. After that he was seen of about five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that he was seen of James, then of all the apostles. And last of all, he was seen of me also, as of one born out of due time. For I am the least of the apostles, that am not meant to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, God, I am what I am, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labor more abundantly than they are. They all, yet not I, the grace of God which was with me. Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach, and so ye believed. Now if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, I'll say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead. But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain, and our faith is also vain. Yea, and we are found false witness of God, because we have testified of God that he had risen of Christ, whom he had risen not up, but so be that the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised. And if Christ be and if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain, ye are yet in your sins. 
that they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are men of we are of all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man come death, by man come also resurrection of the dead. Twenty two and last. For as in Adam all die. Even so in Christ shall all be alive. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Sister Diane. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We go straight into our praise and worship. And we call upon announcement. Okay, we get the announcement before we go to praise and worship. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Let us shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let us shout hallelujah. hallelujah. We're in the house of the Lord and it seems of us as if some of us start sitting on our praise already. We don't want the rocks to cry out. In our stead, we have to praise the Lord. We are too quiet a Sunday morning in the house of the Lord. We are too quiet. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Um, I'm going to ask some of you to come up a little further. We have a little, um, some empty benches here. We're observing the COVID protocol, but we still can sit together to worship the Lord. Oh, how good and how pleasant it is when we come to fellowship with one another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus just to take him at his word. When we come in the house of the Lord, let us just praise the Lord. Let us not sit quiet. We have hands and feet or breath. We are alive this morning. We come out. It's for a reason to give God all the praises. The rain is falling. We haven't had rain for so long. The rain is falling, the time was so hot, and we get miserable, the rain is falling, so we can't come here this morning because it is, it is raining in our lives. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus, praise God this morning. I must take the time out to acknowledge our bishop and pastor in their absence, wonderful people of God, to all our ministers, Minister Elder Bennett, we want to greet you this morning. Elder Grant coming in, we want to greet him in the wonderful name of Jesus. So happy to have you in our presence this morning. All the other ministers sitting in our congregation, it is so happy to have you. Brethren, visiting friends and children, we're happy to have you worshiping with us this morning, worshiping God with us magnifying his name, praising God this morning. And all our visitors on the social media platform, we're happy to have you week after week. I know one of my sister is there every week, every week on Facebook. If she don't get anything, she will send me a message and ask me what is happening to Greater Grace Temple this morning. Praise God, all our first time visitor this morning. Do we have any third one visiting with us the very first time in our midst this morning? I'm going to ask you to stand. Do I have anyone visiting for the very first time? Praise God, I'm not seeing anyone, but to our continuous, those visitors that come week after week, we are happy to have you, and we hope your souls are rich to bless when you leave this place of worship every Sunday that you come. Praise God. We have a few announcements. Before I go to the announcement, I keep forgetting our visiting drummer. Give him a hand clap for visiting drummer. Praise God, we're happy to have you. You're doing a wonderful job. Praise God. 
This morning, we want to say a big thank you to all the persons who turned out for Evangelist Williams' memorial on Friday evening and the funeral service yesterday. We want to say a big thank you. The burial will be at Dovecot tomorrow at 11 a.m. All those persons who can go to Dovecot, we're asking you to go. Evangelist Williams was a stalwart of Greater Grace Temple, and we're asking for your continued support tomorrow at Dovecot, 11 a.m. for her burial. Praise God. The, our pastor announced a few weeks ago that we will be using the card machine. The card machine is available on the outside, the table to the front, for all those persons who want to use their card. Sister Barbara will assist you at the main door. The machine is placed there, right there. Praise God. This Saturday, all the young people in the house, I know everyone here is under a hundred year old, the Greater Grace Temple family of churches presents the one day youth camp that is this Saturday, September 3. We want to have as much persons as possible attending this session. It starts at 9.30 a.m. and it continues to 6. So when we used to have the four-day youth camp, it was mostly the youth, the young people will go. Um, so it's one day, so we're asking young, middle-aged, um, all those persons under 100. I don't want to say old because we are not old. Praise God. And... I know Sister Fisher is not old, so we're not old. Sister Ellis is not old, so we all can go. Bless the Lord. She's young. She's putting up her hand there. Praise God. So let us support the one-day youth camp. They will be having their theme is transformed. No mind change, no life change. Sometimes in life, people want to see things differently and their mind is not changed, their ways not changed. So if that is not changed, you cannot see any changes in your life. So the theme transformed, no mind change, no life change. It is going to be a spirit-filled praises and worship session. They're gonna have presentation from Hard Trust NTA on training and employment. Also, there will be breakout sessions with discussions on identity and purpose in Christ, controlling thoughts, emotions and desires, sexual purity and self-esteem. This will be held at Greater Grace Temple, Spanish Town. Spanish Town, but I think we all can go to Spanish Town, but Spanish Town always come to Deanery Road, so Deanery Road can now go to Spanish Town, Portmore can go to Spanish Town, Deanery Road, it is time for us to step out and support where the events are held at other places and other branches. So that is a one day youth camp, don't forget, it is this Saturday, if you want further information, you can speak to Sister Dion or Sister Patrice. Bless the Lord Jesus. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Our announcement for this week, on Wednesday, our prayer and fasting service will continue in the sanctuary. That is Wednesday at 12 noon, prayer and fasting service. Brotherhood prayer meeting and Bible class continues online. Brotherhood prayer meeting is Wednesday at 8 a.m. and on Saturday at, sorry, 8 p.m. and on Saturday at 9 p.m. The Bible class is on Tuesday at 7, 7 p.m. Okay, and...
Also, we haven't had prayer meeting for a long time in the sanctuary. Remember, we always have prayer meeting on Mondays. We haven't had it since COVID. Prayer meeting will be back in the sanctuary. That's on Monday at 7 p.m. So all those persons who are out of internet service, prayer meeting will be in the sanctuary Mondays at 7 p.m. Bless the Lord, we continue our praise and worship team at this time. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Can we shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Can we shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Just, uh, um, just by way, persons who are interested in going, or not interested, persons who will be going to the one day camp this Saturday, transportation will be provided. So just... Let us know so we can know how to um, facilitate. So don't worry about it. We will be leaving here in a group and we will be going over to Spanish Town in our praise. It will be at a cost, yes, but it will be subsidized. Something affordable because we know that, you know, time is really, and it's very, really, it's, it's dreaded, but we serve a great, big, wonderful God. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Let's stand on our feet. We are here to give God praise. Our hallelujah. theme is the glorious hope in Christ. Can you imagine what a hope we have? What a hope. If it was this life alone, we'd be so miserable. But I'm happy that my hope is built on nothing less but Jesus' blood and righteousness. But only leave on Jesus' name, on Christ the solid rock I stand. All on the ground, it's sinking sand. Can we worship the Lord? Can we give the Lord some praise this morning? Hallelujah. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood.
is sinking sand. Hallelujah. And because he is our hope this morning, we're going to sing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
There's a spirit of praise in praise. Move out of your seat and just give God some praise in praise. He said that he inhabits the praise of his people. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him on the instrument. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. 
But hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But God. But God. But God. Somebody has a bought praise. Somebody said if the hacks in the spawn. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And if the fig trees doesn't blossom. <laughs> glory to God. I'm a hallelujah. Said, hallelujah. I will yet praise the Lord. You come with pain. You come with all sorts of troubles. But 10,000 reasons. You Thank, have you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 10,000 reasons you have this morning to praise your God. Praise your God. Church, when you come, there, nobody thump you. Because if you know what God do for you, praise him. Praise him. Hallelujah. You could have held there like some gun, man, a fire gun. You could have heard you like some harlots to the air. Praise yes. God. Mm. You could have heard you doing many different things. Amen. Thank you, God. God. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. I'm encouraging you today, saints of God. But God, Thank you, Lord. But God Thank you, Lord. I went to a spur tree hill in 2007. Thank you, Lord. And when I cried out to me, God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh, God. the vehicle threw all over precipice. Yes, and hitch up in a tree. Hallelujah. Yes, and I was the only one who had a praise. I was the one who said, Jesus, don't leave me here. Don't leave me here. Because I know, my God, that is well able. Amen, amen, amen. To keep me from falling. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. And even if I fall, he will take me up. Yes. Cause my enemies to flee. What you say about him today, church? Reason. What you say about him today? Reason. What you say about him today? Glory to God. Thank you, Sister Dennis, for that anointing spirit this morning. The Holy Ghost was crying out for awakening spirit, for the awakening of the spirit. Glory to God. We ain't going anywhere. We're gonna hear the preacher soon. Glory to God. But we have a right to pray. God, we do, we do. Because he's worthy of our prayers. Many of us are walking with our situation that need deliverance. But because you can't lift your hands and say, praise Jesus. Because you can't shut your eye and get in some mood. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. God. Amen. Amen. We walk out of here many Jesus months name. with the same issue. What we say? What we say? We need to have a crazy you, prayer. God. Yes, we do. Yes, we, we do. We need to find yes, reasons out of 10,000 to praise God. Jesus yes. Jesus that has gone before us. And the evening is about to come. Because when the daylight, he said, it is sun peeped out of the heavens, telling us that it is a new day. A new day of praise. Glory to God. I think it was Job said, have you commanded your day? Since the morning began, have you commanded your day? Since the morning began, command your dear man, command your hands to praise God, command your heart. Jesus. Thank because you, Lord. Right Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. In Jesus' Amen, name. In Jesus' church. name. Yes, sir. Amen, church. Amen, church. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We Praise thank God. Him. Thank you, Jesus. We thank him today. Yes, Glory Lord, we do. God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And now we're going to go straight into our offering. Glory to God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And we pray that the Lord will bless that which he has given unto us. Multiply. Once we give him what is due unto him. Glory to God. Give him the widow's might even so. Mighty God. With your hands lifted up. 
Glory to God. And your feet walk from where you sit to come to the altar to drop what you have today. He will bless it and he will multiply it. Glory to God and cause your seed to grow. Amen? Glory to God. So I call on Sister Burton to bless the offering today. Glory to God. Glory to God. Give us free. Glory to God. Oh, they give us free. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Even so. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We are firm and the times belong to God for the word of God. We are firm, we will not drop God of his tent. We are firm, we shall stand on the promised blessing. We are firm that he which so it sparingly shall be sparingly, and he who so it bountifully shall be bountifully. Every man according as he purposes in his heart, so let us give, not grudgingly, not of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Amen. Glory to God. Bless the Lord Jesus. Father God, we thank you even now for your faithfulness, for your goodness, and for your grace towards us, Lord God. You are such a good, good Father, Lord God, providing always for us, Lord God Almighty. Lord Jesus Christ, according to your word, Lord God, your seed will never be hungry or go begging for bread. And so, Lord God, as we're about to give a portion of what you have given to us, we pray, Lord God, that you will sanctify, Lord God, and use it for the master's work, Lord Jesus. We rebuke every devourer, Lord God, of our finances today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Cover, Lord God Almighty, all that we have to give, Lord God, today in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We get a selection from the choir. As you, brethren, on your right, will stand. And on your left, we'll wait till your turn. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
Praise the I've Lord. I've not seen you for a good little while. And I pray that you're the person that I'm supposed to hand over to today. In Jesus' name, praise Hallelujah. God. Amen. It's all right. Glory to God. Amen. Glory Bless the Lord. God. Amen. Let's praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord one more time. Hallelujah. If you are blessed, let's lift your hands and shout, Jesus. Jesus. One more time, Jesus. Jesus. One more time, say glory. glory. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say glory. glory. Say glory. glory. Hallelujah. hallelujah. If you know that you are blessed, jump on your feet and say, thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. One more time, say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It is such a great, great honor and a great privilege to once again be in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Here at Greater Grace Temple. Put your hands together for the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Let me first take this, this opportunity to, to acknowledge my senior pastor and the bishop who is not here today, Bishop Dr. C.A. Holdsworth. Put your hands together for him. And also Pastor Roden, put your hands together for her as well. This time I greet all the ministers, musicians, visitors, everyone. I greet you in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It is, it is good to be home. It is good to be All home. Right, Let's Praise go. the name of the Lord. It is so good, so good, so good. You know, there is a saying, no place like home. That's right. You know, no place like, like home. The Lord has, has brought me overseas for, for about three months, and he has taken me back safely. And to that, I want to give God thanks. I want to give him glory for what he has done. Today, I'm, I'm really, really ex excited to see what the Lord is doing in our midst. I just want to, want to um, give testimony of my, um, my, my oldest daughter, Kendra Grant. For those who do, do not know, she gave her life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And uh, she, was re she received the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And so to today, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just happy to see what the Lord is doing in our midst. The theme for today says the glorious hope that we have in Christ. And I want to say to everyone today, today who are under the sound of my voice and those who are, who are watching on the different platforms, I'll let you know that we have hope in Christ Jesus. In spite of what may be happening around us, it's maybe what is happening, Lord God, hallelujah, we still have hope in the Lord. Hallelujah. And we know that the Lord is in control. And so we have been reminded by the various songs that we sung today that we have, hallelujah, a race to run. And we have a victory to obtain. We have a victory, hallelujah, to get. So in spite of what we may be going through, in spite of what Hallelujah, the enemy may be throwing at us. We know that in Christ Jesus, we have the victory. So I want to say to everyone today before the, the speaker come, that I want you to know that you have the victory in Jesus Christ. Turn to your neighbor and say, you have the victory in Jesus. Hallelujah. In spite of what you may be going through, you have the victory. And as Christ has overcame the world in him, we too have overcome the world. And this is the confidence and the hope that we have in him. Praise the name of the living God. As I said, it's good to be home. I'm going to ask you to stand at this time. I'm going to ask you to open your hearts and to receive the word of the Lord that he has to give to us through his manservant today. And I want you to put your hands together and to welcome to this podium no other than our own elder Praise the name of the living God, Bennett, in Jesus' name. We praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to ask you to pray. God, 
Mighty God, I come in your presence. One more time, God. Lord, your servant, mighty God. Hallelujah. It is him this morning in the need of prayer this morning. Coming to you, mighty God. Hallelujah. For direction. For hope. Glory to God for faith to increase in him, God, as he delivered the word to your people. Mighty God, I pray that you give him wisdom, understanding, and the knowledge. Glory to God of your word this morning. Fall afresh upon him this morning and never before. Glory to God. Lord, I pray, mighty God, that you will bless him as he read the word, as he come forth with your word, as he pronounce a blessing upon your people today. God, I pray your blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. You may be seated. Let me give honor to the Spirit of God. Great Bishop Oldford and his absent and Pastor Roden. Ella Grant, members of the singing group, musician, all the officers, ministers, evangelists, and missionary, greeting in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. The theme, the glorious hope in Christ. When we think of hope, the word that came to my mind is expectation. What is it that we expect from Christ? Important to note that for us to have hope in Christ, we need to know who Christ is. He is the anointed one. Praise God. The Bible, in the book of Genesis, we learn the creation of the heaven and the earth. Praise God. The Lord God create the Garden of Eden and he placed man in that garden. All that Adam needed for survival was in that garden, well stocked out. Praise God. Amen. Angel does not reason with God. Angel receive instruction from God. God want a being that he can reason with. And in his pure majesty, he said, come, let us make man. Can we praise God? In our own image. There are many people Ask, who is it that God was talking to? It appears as if there was another being. Praise God. But the sociologist will tell you that before one can speak, there got to be an internal conversation. Can we praise God? Amen. 
For you to create something, you have to have a graphical representation of in your mind as to what you want to make. Praise God. Jesus is the Word. The Bible said in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. All things was made by him and without him. It was not in me. That was me. Praise God. Words are thought expressed. Praise God. So, if Jesus is the word, then he is the thought of God. Can we praise the Lord? And you cannot separate a man from his thought. When a man dead, his thought perish. Oh, praise the Lord. So a man without a thought is a dead man. Am I right? Can we praise the Lord Jesus? Man was commissioned to keep the garden. The Bible told me that God will come down in the cool of the day and reason with Adam. God gave specific instruction as it relates to the three and the fruit of the tree of good and evil. Man disobey God. As a result of that, he was expelled from the Garden of Eden. He and his wife, being deceived by the devil. God told man that the day that they eat of that fruit shall surely die. Oh, Go praise God. Go ahead, preacher. But God, in his infinite mercy, when man sin have dropped up a blueprint for the redemption, he said, I will set enmity between thy seed and the seed of the woman. So the seed of the woman is Christ. And our hope is in Christ. Can we praise the Lord? Praise God. Can we praise the Lord? came on the scene oh, oh, glory he said I am come bless the Lord I am mean God yes. in other words Satan is a thief yes. and a rabbi uh, so the thief come at not but to kill, but to kill and destroy yes, sir. but I am come God. Our hope has come. Hallelujah. We yeah. might have life have it more yeah. and have it more abundantly. abundantly. Yes. Our hope in Christ is eternal life. Can we praise the Lord? Praise God. I want to go back to the book of Genesis a little again. The Bible said that the fourth day, 
God created the sun, the moon, the stars. Greater light through the day, lesser the night, moon, and the sun. And he said it is for time and season. It is important to note that it, the first day, God said, let there be light. And there was light. So there is a light before the sun. Oh, glory be to God. Can we praise the Lord? That source, that light is coming from a source that always exists, which is Jesus. Can we praise the Lord? In Malachi 4 and verse 2, it said to them that fear him shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wing. Can we praise the Lord? I want somebody to find Malachi 4 verse 2. And I want you to look at the word son and tell me how that son is spelled. Can we praise the Lord? If you notice for the internet, that son is not S-O-N. <laughs> oh, glory be to God. It's S-U-N. Oh, praise God. So in Revelation 21 and verse 23, he said, The city have no need for the sun, but the Lamb of God giveth it light. Amen. So Jesus is the Son of righteousness. Yes, sir. Son of God. What function does the sun have? The S-U-N. I mean the sun that shines. The sun warm our rivers. The sea. It steer the atmosphere generating time and season. So without the sun the world would be one big ball of ice and lifelessness. Nothing could exist without the sun that is shining now. Oh, can we praise the Lord Jesus? Can we praise the Lord Jesus? So with the sun, without the sun of righteousness, nothing could exist. From the archangel to the lowest realm is created by Jesus Christ. That's why our hope is in him. Can we praise the Lord? Can we praise the Lord? Our hope is in the resurrection. Have not been for the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Or hope of eternity will be lost. Can we praise the Lord? Can we bless the Lord? Now, because the Corinthians have a problem. There were some among them who thought the resurrection is an impossible thing. This was the concern, sentiment among the heathen by, but against the apostles produced an inconsistable fact, namely the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Can we praise the Lord? 
We have seen the demonstration of the resurrection in our eyes display for us every day. Praise the Lord. When we look, for example, you plant peas. That peas die. That body. Praise the Lord. But while it is in the ground, there is life in the eye of that pea. Praise the Lord. Soon after you see the blade coming up. And if you wait a little while, you see the parts start to come out. More peace. Resurrection. Oh, praise the Lord. You see, the peace does not entirely die. The body dissolves. Oh, glory be to God. But for the people of God, the soul does not die. For the soul of man Oh, glory, hallelujah. But this body. Oh, hallelujah. This robe of flesh. Is going to trouble. Oh, glory, hallelujah. God is going to give me another body. I walk on limp. Because of an accident. But when we get to glory, Lord. Ooh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not going to limp anymore. For God is going to give me another body. Ooh, but behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment. Hallelujah. One day, evangelists let me used to dance. But you don't see evangelists dance yet. Wait till we get over yonder. We're going to sing and shout. We're going to dance about in the great triumphant morning. When you hear the bridegroom cry and the dead in Christ. We shall all rise. What a blessed hope. The Corinthians yes, sir. were concerned as to what body that you're going to have. And there are some people today asking the same question. You know, we have some people who can't see physically blind. Lame. One foot. No foot. So how every knee I go bow. Jesus. But you want to hear them talk. Oh God. Jesus step through the cloud. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. For every tongue, Most. every tongue is going to speak. Most every deaf. We say a lot of good things about Evangelist Williams. She can't hear. No. But the next voice she hear is that of Christ. Give you a body. Yes, sir. For you must confess. Yes. If you can't talk, one thing on the resurrection, there'll be no dummy. Yes, no, sir. 
There'll be no one put man. Can you have a knee? Oh, God Almighty. You got to bow. Can we praise the Lord Jesus? Hope is in Christ. Yes, sir. The anointed one. Sometimes we have some family member that we put our trust in. The ladder I was talking to. Young lady, she called me. Her husband went to Canada. And the man divorced her without she knew. Married again. Because he had an intention to leave that woman and come back to his original wife. Because his hope is in Canada. But when you check it out, she's not, he's not coming back to her. All hope gone. But the Bible says, thy maker is thy husband. I'm saying to all of the women that your husband will not leave you. Woo! Not forsake you. When you go to the waters, he'll be there. In the good time, God is here. Yeah. In the bad time, yeah. God is here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. We know that he's coming again. He's the first fruit of them that slept. The Bible says he was seen by Cephas, Peter. Then he was seen by the twelve. When he said, although Judas wasn't there, but they were called the twelve. Praise the Lord. Then 500 men. And if you should multiply that by four, because women and children, you're almost 2,000. Can we praise the Lord? Can we praise the Lord? So we know that he arose. We know that he's alive. We know that our hope is a, is a life in Christ. Oh, can we praise God? We know that in Adam all died. That was the first Adam. But in the second Adam, the seed of the woman, Oh, can we praise the Lord Jesus? Can we praise the Lord? The conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. The captain of the heavenly host. Joshua saw a man. When he was about to invade Jericho. He saw him as a man of war. With his sword drawn. Joshua was ready to fight. Ready to fight. Draw your sword. God Almighty. Woo! And though one of us said, No. Uh, you know, yeah, probably people don't understand who Jesus is. He's not one of us. You're a mortal man, Joshua. But, oh God. But as captain of the heavenly host. Our hope is in the captain of the heavenly host. Fully in control. Fear no fool. No, sir. When the disciple there was in the boat. And there was time. Yes, sir. They were afraid. 
The very thing that we cry and afraid of, Jesus have it on our feet. He was walking upon the water in the raging storm. Oh, hallelujah. He was in the boat. Sleeping. Humanity was asleep. But divinity was alive. For he God, that keepeth Israel neither slumber nor sleep. Oh, a God don't wink. No. While well, I sleep, he watches over me. Yes, sir. God Almighty. You might have a situation. Some storm in your life. But let me tell you something. As long as Jesus is in the ship, he can't sink. Lift your hand and praise God. Lift your hand and praise God. So if he must sleep, wake him up. Wake him up with some fasting. Wake him up with some prayer. Wake him up with some singing. Paul and Silas was in prison. Whipped and locked up. It appeared that God was asleep. Don't say what is happening to his people. But at midnight, mm, Paul and Silas pray. And sing praises to God. Divinity wake up. And they were, when God stepped into the prison, there's something about God. If you're in a shackle, then I go jump off when he yes. comes. Can we praise God? Every door open. Everyone. Every shackle is fell off. God, people cannot stay in prison. Cannot be burned. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They tie them up. They throw them in the fire. The thing they just put them. Some strong man, mighty man, and them. In the fire. But anything you do to God, people, you do it to them. They never know what they throw Jesus in the fire, too. Yes, okay. But I saw a food man. What is lightning? In the well, lightning unto the son of God. He was lightning. Yes. Unto the son of God. Yes, sir. This man mm. not look like a Syrian. No. Ah. God Almighty. Yeah. This man is not an Egyptian. No, sir. Oh, God Almighty. This man not come from both here. It's fun. Yes, sir. Not look like a man. No, Never can I was a hidden. You have seen many men, but something different yes. about this man. Yes, sir. Something wonderful. About this man. Oh God, what a show them in that fire, Jesus. You know, staying at this fire, tie up, you know. Be loose. You see, when Jesus comes, you know your situation, yeah. it changes it. If you're chained, it will go fell off. Yes. If you're tied up, it will lose you. Yes, and if you're down, it will go take you up. He said, I saw them walking. Hey. That's the person we have all hope for. But if you're chewing me in the fire, you're chewing me into. Oh, glory be to God. I'm going to bring from this back. Hold on, let me talk to him. Earth have no sorrow. Heaven 
time can't cure. Do you hear what I'm saying? The God that we serve is a warrior. Yes, sir. He's mighty. Hear what the three boys said. Never can I have said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you know, bow down to my image. You know, praise my God. Let me see, I'm going to play the music again. God, tell him to play the music now. Hey, Amen. They never sound to play the music. And some Christians jump like little bees. But never can I say that, all right. You know what I mean? I want you to jump. But you're going, bow. I'm going to play the music again. Come on, band master. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego stand up. God wants a man that number. Stand up. Tell it, never say, me number. Is there anybody here, Agobo? He said, oh, king, we are not careful. But we know that God is able to deliver. But even if God not deliver me, me no me no no worship, no image. But there is one God. One faith, one baptism, one Christ Jesus. Oh God, you seal the tomb, you set the watch. My God, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Some people don't know who Jesus is. When over 500 soldiers came for him, he stepped out. And he spoke in the first person. He said, Who do you seek? Just like that. He said, Jesus. That's Nazareth. He but says, I am. That means he said, God is he. With that force, 500 soldiers fell on the back. Yes, sir. So I don't subscribe to this song, but he could have called 10,000 angels. Don't need one angel. Not one. Hey. 500 soldiers, well trained, and then back. Yes. Get up. To whom do you seek? That Jesus, this time he's speaking the third person. Didn't I told you? He speak as a man. That I am, is he? And they were able to take it. You see, that's the God that we have our hope in. Can we praise God? In this life, yes, sir. We have many struggles. In the past two years, or less than two years, I lost eight close family members. COVID killed six of my family, including my sister and my niece. And two others, my niece and brother, died of natural cause and cousin. But when we get over yonder, no more debt. No more COVID. No, sir. Lord Jesus, I saw a disease on the TV. They call it the monkey pox. My God, it's more dreadful in sight than COVID. I said, oh my God, I wouldn't want to catch that thing. But you see, when we get over yonder, you see when that angel come down from heaven and place one foot in the sea, oh God, one, one foot on the land and sound that trumpet and say, time shall be no more. There will be no more COVID, no more monkey pox, 
No more arthritis. No more diabetes. No more death. No more pain. No more sorrow. No more tears. To dim your eyes. But we will be singing. Ring out those heaven bells. When I get there, sorrow woo, will be over. Heaven the joy. I wonder if you know who that is. Jesus is our heavenly joy. Heaven the joy come over. Ring out. Heaven bells. Let me tell you something, man. I wonder if we know where we're headed. John I saw. The new Jerusalem. Coming down down from heaven. As a bride. Like what? A bride. A bride. Well put together. Oh God. God. Hallelujah. Somebody said at midnight. There was a cry. Behold. The bridegroom comes. Come on. We have certain rights, but we're, we're not really um, give it much thought. You know that the only person who have a right to shout and sing is the children of the Lord. The people who are laid to weep and mourn and repent. But the people of God who have been baptized in Jesus' name carry at the altar till the Holy Ghost came have a right to shout and sing. To shout and sing. So when you see me, I show. When you see me, I dance. When you see me, I sing. If anybody asks your missionary, what the matter with you? Tell them. Jesus! Come on, show Jesus. Jesus! Jesus and what? My mind! Hope was coming. Hope was passing through. Somebody was blind. Oh, Holy Ghost. He said, who that? He said, Jesus, Papa. He said, Jesus! Don't disturb the master. You can't see. Me can't see. Ball out! Son of David. Have mercy. Some people don't like when you ball out. Some people don't like when you shout. Lord Jesus, when me are evangelist with them, you so jump and dance and kick your foot in yes, man. Oh God. They call him say you was a baby them time, but you remember. Oh my God, you so dance. Don't be afraid to shout Jesus. The blind man shout because his hope of seeing was in Christ. Our hope of getting to glory land. Let me tell you something. You know. I said somebody the other day that all our righteousness is like filter rock. No matter how we can preach, no matter how we can sing, no matter how we can dance, that alone can't get you there. Not even miracle. It's the grace of God. By grace are we saved through Jesus Christ. That is our hope. We are saved by grace. So we need to humble ourselves. Tell us something, man. You know, 
Gentleness. We must be gentle, you know. Blind people believe that they have power. If you're, if you're not gentle, you don't have no power. That's right. Gentleness is power under control. Yeah. 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 Can we praise God? Yeah. When a person is gentle, I'm poor. Uh, amen. A king, uh, a king not to make up nice, you know. General have to make up now. The uh, uh, general said to Jesus, this is my man of an authority. When I say move, man, move. Hey. When I say man, come, go there. Hey. So uh, Jesus, you don't have to come. You have power. No, you gentle, you humble, no. but speak the word. Yes. You know, all you want is a word. If you can speak that word. Help us. Uh, say Jesus, Jesus. But speak the word with authority. Yeah, we praise the Lord. Yeah, you see, we have for us to know and to have hope in Christ. We have to have a fellowship. He said, my sheep hear my voice. And you will not follow nobody else. You know, the other day I, 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 I cry shame. I said in the Bible when I was reading, I said, the ox know him master's child. The donkey know God, he know him voice. My people don't know. It's a shame! Some Christians don't know God's voice. They know Jesus' voice. And come on sometime, you know, you get a revelation, you say, you know, one mind, say, how many minds you have? If you have more than one mind, you're mad. Which mind say? Come on! The Holy Ghost! You have to be a relationship with God! With Christ! So when he speaks, you hear his voice. For your hope is wrapped up and tied up and tangled up with Jesus. God bless you. Lift your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Your hope is wrapped up and tangled up in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands and say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The, the preacher reminded us today of the hope, this, this precious hope that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. And today, hallelujah, as we get ready to, to pray, and as the choir sing, I just want to remind everyone today, hallelujah, that this hope that we have, it is built upon the finished work of Jesus Christ. And so whatever the situation is, whatever life has to throw at you, I want to remind you today that Jesus Christ has provided everything that you need pertaining to life and godliness. So today may our hope be renewed. If there's anyone today you feel as though in a particular year that you are losing that confidence, you are losing that hope, rest assured today that as you continue to believe God in accordance to what he said in his word, in light of that situation, if you faint not, you will see the glory of the Lord. May I say it again? If you faint not, you will see the glory of the Lord. So be encouraged today that the God that you serve is the same God of Moses. He's the same God of Elijah. He's the same God of Elijah. He's the same God who has done it in the past, who is doing it and will continue to do. So may your hope be reestablished today. And may your hope continue to be affirm on the rock which is Jesus Christ I'm going to ask you to stand today and as we sing this song which hallelujah yes Lord yes Lord is there anyone today you have not yet given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ the Bible says today is a day of salvation today is a day if you hear his voice are not your heart. So if there's any hallelujah of not yet coming to your life to Jesus, will you come that we may pray for you?
Is there any among us today who needs to recommit your life to the Lord Jesus Christ? We invite you to come. We invite you to come as we say. Will your anger hold in the storms of life? Hallelujah. When the clouds unfold their wings of strife. Hallelujah. When the strong tides lift. Yes, Lord. And the cables drain. Hallelujah. Will your today that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday he is the same today and he is the same forever and I want us to be reminded today that he who has started the good work in you will finish it the day when you will see the Lord Jesus Christ until that day when you will see him face to face he wants you to know today that he has given you the power in Christ Jesus to live this life. If there's any today who have not yet come into life, Jesus Christ, and those who may be viewing today, I want to let you know that Jesus Christ has not left us as orphans, but he has left and has provided his spirit to empower us to live for him. All of us today are here as a testimony of the power of God. And so today, hallelujah, rest assured that what comes may, that you are more than conqueror in Christ Jesus. So today as we pray, today as we call upon the name of the Lord, if you know of a loved one or a friend who have not yet come to Jesus Christ, pray for that person even now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father in heaven, we want to thank you today. Lord, we want to thank you because indeed we have this precious, this glorious hope. This hope that is not built, Lord God, on our constitution. This hope that is not built on promises made by men. This is not a hope, Lord God, that is not based on our technology, Lord God, evolution. But this is a hope that is built upon the, the shed blood of Jesus Christ. It is a hope that we have that is firm, hallelujah, on the eternal Savior. Father in heaven, we want to thank you. We want to thank you today as many, Lord God, as placed 
their hope and their faith in you and have not been disappointed. Yes, Lord, we may not have seen everything that we have prayed for and that we have desired to come to fruition. But Lord God, we like those your word made mention of in Hebrews chapter 11. Though Lord God, they have not obtained the promise, they remain in faith. Today, heaven the Father, Lord God of heaven, Lord, I pray and I lift before you your people today as we are being reminded on this theme, the glorious hope that we have. Father in heaven, there are so many things in this life that is challenging the confidence that we have in you. That is, Lord God, eating away, Lord, the hope that we have in you. Today, Father, I pray for my brothers, I pray for my sisters, including myself, that the hope, that the assurance, that the confidence, that the know that we know that we know in you will remain, will, will remain and abound in the faith. Lord God, I pray that whatever we may face, Lord God, tomorrow, the next months, the next years, Lord God, we will look to you in hope. Holy Spirit, remind us as we go through life, that our hope is built on the Lord Jesus Christ. And so today, Lord, if there's any Lord who is losing that confidence, who is losing that trust in you, in whatever the context may be, Father, I pray that such a one of persons will receive strength right now. Wherever you are, you may be listening. Wherever you are, you are here. May you receive strength right now. May you receive strength in your minds. May you receive strength in your spirit. May you receive strength in your body to continue to be and to do all that God has called you and called us to do. Father God, we want to thank you for the victory that we have in Christ Jesus. And to this end, we celebrate. Lord God, I pray right now for your manservant. Who, Lord God, take the time out or took the time out, Lord, to share your words to us today. Father, I present him before you, Lord. And I pray, God, that you continue to strengthen him. Lord, I pray that you continue, Lord, to minister to him. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, that the power of God will continue, Lord God, to abide in him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, hallelujah. As we engage another week. Lord, we don't know what faces us Monday through to Saturday. But right now I cover your people under your blood. Lord, I cover them all under your blood. I say in their going out and in their coming in, Lord. May they be covered under your blood. I speak the word that no arm will come nigh them. I speak upon the authority of your word that your angels will go before them, will stay behind them, beside them, above them, beneath them, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as many are falling victims of violence, may it not come near your people. May it not near come near us in Jesus' name. And to this Lord I speak. To this I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus Christ. But instead we will see your glory throughout this week. Those who need a financial breakthrough, let it be in the name of Jesus. Those who need a miracle, let it be. Those who need direction, let it be. Those who need a touch, let it be. Those who need deliverance, let it be. Lord, that when we come next year, there shall be testimonies on top of testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you today. We say, Lord, everything that has done, be done to the glory and the honor of your name. We praise you today. We say, keep us from falling, Lord. And as we, Lord God, journey, our journey continues. Our hope is in you. Lord, thank you. We bless you. And then everyone say, Amen, Amen, Amen. amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm ask you to stand wherever you are as I pronounce the benediction of the Lord. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Now unto him who is able, more than able, to keep us from falling 
and to present us faultless, blameless before his presence in glory. May his presence, may his goodness, may his joy, may his peace be and rest upon you now and forever in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Yes. <laughs> 